What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. We're back here with the second gen Longhorn project and I know it doesn't really look like much of a Longhorn or really a completely put together second gen right now, but when we have this thing all said and done, it'll look really, really good. At least that's the plan. That those are the hopes that we have. Today what we're gonna be doing with this truck is a few things, okay? So this truck needs to get to paint like uh, today. So the problem is um, it doesn't have a bed. It doesn't have a rear bumper. We do have a rear bumper in, but we don't have a bed on. So what we need to do is finish what we started yesterday, which was putting on the hood, the grill. We align the bumper a little bit better so it's even with the fender on each side. And yes, the gap there is on purpose so you can get the headlights in and out without scratching anything and not having any issues and not having to mess with the bumper at all. And so he can paint everything down in there. And then also we need to get the bed on today. So that's gonna be the main goal of this video is getting the bed on the truck. Those of you who've been watching the channel for a couple months now know that we did do a chassis saver on the entire frame. We did get the leaf packs coated with an enamel so that that's all coated and protected. We did all the bed mounts and all the way up into about halfway under the cap and that's about it and that's where we stopped. Um, we still have more to do, but we need to get this into paint first because this truck I want to get it painted so we can start to see like some real progress on it. And then once we get it back from paint, the second gen long horse style seats that we're having custom built for this truck are going to be in and it's going to look amazing. But we have to get this thing painted so it can be in and out when we get the seats back. And then we can start to move on further with the truck and the suspension and power and all that stuff. It's going to be awesome. Just stay tuned. It's going to get really good. Hopefully this thing starts because we haven't ran this thing in a handful of weeks and I can't remember how many times I left the door cracked open or something with the light on so we'll find out. If it starts right up, I'll be impressed. We gave it a shot. Batteries are too weak. In the Longhorn second gen right now, I'm sorry about that spot. It is a chip in the camera. I gotta, I gotta get a new lens for it. But anyways, we've got the phone charging station all propped up here, and everything's good to go. The only problem is I can't buckle up in this truck, which I don't like. I don't like that feeling. Good thing we don't have to go very far. We're going about 15 minutes, and then we'll be over there to get the bed put on the truck and hopefully we don't have any issues with the tractor because dad said it was acting up the other day. We are at my parents house. I got the tractor's fuel filter changed out because it needed to be serviced. The bed's about to get hooked up and then we're going to try to set this bed on this truck frame and smoothly get this done. So stay tuned. Check this out. She's all back together. Except for the bumper. Still needs a bumper. But we've got the bed on. It's got a couple things. It's got a little dent there. It's got a little bit of rust starting there. It's got a little ding that goes in there. I think that's pretty much it for this side, other than one little crinkle mark down here as well. Oh yeah, and a dent up top. <laughs> there, there's a lot of little flaws. The tailgate's pretty rough. I mean it opens and closes just fine. Like it's straight on the sides. I mean, on each side, it's nice and straight. It's not like bowed in or out, but on the top, there's some dents down in on the top, stuff like that. And I don't know if he'll be able to salvage it or not. You know, we'll talk to him and see what he says. In terms of this side though, it's pretty much straight and narrow. I mean, it's pretty nice. There's a little teeny tiny ding that goes in above the tip, but that's pretty much it. Other than well, rush starting here a little bit. And, Stuff like that. But other than that, this side's pretty good. We're gonna take it to the body guy. I'm not a body guy. I don't know what all that involves and if it's really not that big of a deal or if it's gonna be more than I no more than I'm thinking. But we're gonna get this over to him soon. Hopefully when he gets this truck, you know, he can look at it and pretty much tell me, hey, it's not gonna be like a super long project, or he might say, you know, it's gonna be several weeks. Hopefully it's more like 
I don't know, two to four weeks. I don't know body stuff, I don't know paint stuff, but since it's what he does full time, I'm hoping it doesn't take too terribly long because I'd like to get this truck back to do some more stuff on it. Let's get this truck over to the house and I think we've got a rear bumper to put on when we get back. I can't do it right now because I'm supposed to be at the guy's place in about 15 minutes and it takes every bit of 15 minutes to get there. So I have the wifey and her truck right here. You can not see it all. And she's gonna follow me over there. We're gonna get the truck dropped off and I'll let you know what he says in terms of a result as to will it be easy, will it be hard, will he be able to work on it, will he, will he not be able to do certain things that we were wanting to do. So we're gonna get over there, talk to him, and then I'll get back with you with the results. Okay everybody, so we did get back from dropping off that truck for paint and we did talk to the guy and he says he should be able to have everything done and that truck should be dent free, rust free, painted immaculately in three-ish weeks. So we will see, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it turns out perfect. I have super high confidence in the guy. He's done a couple things for us already and he's just got a really good reputation with people that we know as well. So um, hopefully it all turns out great and we have a beautiful rust free, beautifully painted, Longhorn second gen back and just are ready to go and move on with that build because we have a lot of stuff that we still got to do with that thing. It's got a lot of steps to go, but that's one of the biggest things that I'm counting on right now to just kind of really just, I don't know, just be the icing on the cake, just to kind of like wrap it up with at least looking and having that finished feel that being so close to being done type of feel. So that's what I'm hoping for. And we're not doing like a budget paint job on the thing. I already talked to him about that. And we're not doing like a $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 paint job. That's kind of like, you know, you can have really good paint jobs for that, but you can't have like exceptionally great paint jobs for that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, sometimes if you know a friend, he knows a friend who's gonna cut you a good deal. But I'm talking like, this is gonna be like a really, really nice well done truck. And so I told him what I was willing to spend on it. He said, sounds good, let's go for it. And uh, I think it's gonna turn out pretty, pretty freaking good. I'm pretty excited to see how this truck turns out. And I'm super excited to see how the seats fit in that thing as well. It's gonna, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Do not forget, you are down to the last 70, no, you guys are down to the, the last 48 hours to enter to win either the 2017 F-250 Platinum or the 1996 five-speed 12 valve we call Frosty. Every $5 is 10 entries to win. We've never ran a deal like that. And oh yeah, if you add either two shirts, two hats, two hoodies, or any of those two items together as a package, when you go to check out, use code save more, it's one word, save more, and you can get free shipping if you add two of those items to your cart or more. So take advantage of that, get free shipping, which just means more money to just go towards entries. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Jim, Jim.